When we take the flag of Spain and mix all the colors of the flag into one, we get this orange color. When we do the same thing with Sweden's flag, we get a turquoise green color. And the color we get from China's flag is still very similar to the original red color. But if we take the flags of all the UN recognized countries, what would the average color be? The three most frequent flag colors are red, white and blue. So my guess is that these colors will affect the average color of all the flags a lot. Many countries that are geographically or culturally close have similar looking flags. So before finding out the average color of all the flags, let's look at the average color of each continent's flags. Maybe there will be some differences. A lot of African flags have the Pan-African colors green, yellow and red. Let's take all the 54 African flags, make them somewhat the same size and put them together. Even though Africa has some of the most colorful flags, mixing them all together still produces a brownish grey color. Let's repeat the same procedure for Europe, North America, South America, Asia and Oceania. Both Europe and Asia have slightly different shades of muted reddish colors. North America returns a dull, mostly grayish color with a hint of purple. Oceania has a relatively brighter grayish blue color. This is probably because a lot of countries have blue in their flags and also because there aren't that many countries in Oceania that can make the color more diluted. South America produces a medium brown color. The only continent that does produce a bright color is Antarctica. Although Antarctica has no official flag and is also not a UN recognized country. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. When we combine all the flags, we find that the average color is a dull brown color with reddish undertones. Maybe not the most inspiring color, but I guess it makes sense that the resulting color is a bit dull. 